Ryan here for Silly Reviews. I usually have reviews that are silly, but there's really nothing silly about this review. Pardon the lighting, I couldn't get out here as soon as I wanted to, but if you are an automotive business, a retailer, a reseller, and you do lease to own, in-house financing, rent to own on your vehicles. This vehicle that I just recovered today is a prime example of why you can't give your leasees, your renters, you can't give them an inch because they'll take a mile and your business is going to suffer for it. So what we have here used to be a really nice, super clean 2012 Chrysler 200. Buddy of mine, this is one of his very first vehicles that he did on rent to own. If you're not familiar with what rent to own is, it's something like in-house financing, but you usually have a company that takes care of the contracts for you provides you everything you need to make everything legal and you have a customer who will come and make their payments to you monthly bi-weekly bi-monthly whatever program payment plan that you have set up so lessons to be learned from this vehicle okay this vehicle customer got a good deal did not get you know put over the boards pay too much this and that very fair deal and again this vehicle used to be super super duper clean so almost immediately this customer started being late on their payments and when you're leasing a vehicle you rent to own a vehicle you do some in-house you're going to require that customer to maintain full coverage insurance you're usually going to be an additional interest on the insurance policy and you're gonna be the lien holder. And with a rent to own, you will still be the owner on the title of the vehicle. It is your property until they fulfill their obligation, whatever terms you have for the contract. When they finish paying it off, then it's 100% theirs. Until then, this is still going to be your asset. This customer, was given an inch, given two inches, given three inches, and took miles, okay? One thing you need to do is make sure you see your vehicles, okay? Make sure when they come to make their payment, they're in that vehicle. If they got a ride from somebody, maybe they have a different vehicle, they drove that there, you need to let them know, I need to see the vehicle. On top of that, you need to stay on top of their insurance. All insurance companies will send the lien holder a notice every time there's a change to the policy, which means they may try to drop it down to liability to save a lot of money. That violates the contract. That leaves your asset out there uncovered. On top of that, you need to see that vehicle because you need to see the condition of the vehicle. You wanna make sure your asset is not being destroyed. This vehicle has been destroyed. Most likely, this vehicle has never had an oil change in over a year. On top of that, you see all the body damage. Now, when I went to go repossess this vehicle, I didn't want to have too much talk. I finally found the person, found where the vehicle was. They were willing to give me the keys. I wanted to get the keys and take it. And any type of bartering, negotiating that they want to do, it, it's the ball is not in their court. Okay. So, this damage on the passenger side. Apparently this person was in, in an accident. This is when they still had the full coverage insurance. Here's another tip. Do not let your renter or your leaser, leasee, have ginormous deductibles on their insurance policy, okay? Thousand dollar deductibles are not feasible for most people. How would you come up with $1,000 on the spot? So what the customer told us is the reason why this door is completely damaged and does not close properly anymore 
And over time, now there's water damage inside the vehicle. It is because she said someone hit her who had no insurance. Well, good, that's what your insurance is for. Uninsured motorists, comprehension, collision, full coverage. But since she had a $1,000 deductible, she did not have the means to pay that deductible to get the vehicle repaired. Now, if this business was tracking their vehicles, seeing their vehicles monthly, they would have noticed this. The customer's gonna say, yeah, it's getting taken care of. Well, on that next payment, hopefully they even come in to make the payment. If you see that damage is still there, you can find out what's going on. Well, again, don't give these customers any inches so they can take the miles, okay? This person was late, 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 months and months and months late, given so many chances, made good one time after she was very delinquent. After that, never saw her again. No more answers on the phone. The owner was hoping for the best. Sometimes you need a dose of reality and reality is you can't always be seen as the nice guy. You're doing business. Your family needs to be fed. You need to make a living. So this person went missing for months and months and months until we finally were able to track her down. We go pick up the vehicle. It is in no way, shape, or form anything that resembles what was sold to her or what was rented to her, rent to own. Damage to the front, she hit something. That's expensive. Bumpers, paint work, collision work are expensive. Door handle, something's going on here. There's a dent, there's scrapes. Looks like it could be surface, might come out. Things that won't come out, there's a dent here. You can see the bumpers coming off. The bumper bracket is broken. If you take a look at the rotors on this vehicle, the rotors look like your favorite Chubby Checkers record. There's new brake pads on here, but that's not gonna solve the fact that they probably went bare metal on metal. Put some grooves in it, maybe you put that on your record player and you can do the twist. But there's nothing to dance about here. This collision. We already spoke about it. Expensive, the door, the bodywork, the fender as well. There could be some damage up here by the axle. The wheel does look like it's turned in. That hit could have pushed all this in. We'll find out. Come over here, this one's hard to see. Dent, trunk, trunk lid. Something fell on it, she backed into something, who knows? Bumper is all messed up. Again, it looks like there was never an oil change made to this vehicle. The sticker in the windshield is still the sticker from over a year ago when we did the oil change. The fluids, I can't pop the hood right now. I was unprepared, I apologize. Inside the coolant re reservoir, it looks like there's oil. Hoping there's not some type of head gasket issue, but it is gunky and grimy in there. It was also extremely low on coolant. Then you go to the interior. This woman had children. She smoked in the vehicle. Her husband probably smoked in the vehicle. Her boyfriend, her baby daddy, whatever the story is, there's ashes everywhere. The inside is absolutely filthy. Absolutely filthy. I don't know how well you, you're gonna be able to see this. Inside and out filthy. What you learn from this, and uh, my buddy's learning the hard way. You simply cannot be a good guy beyond your means. And recovering this vehicle, the customer is months and months behind on payments. The vehicle is going to cost a lot to get it back into worthy condition to be sold again. Hopefully we can get it to that point. So if you're a car dealer, used car dealer, pre-owned dealer, 
and you're considering doing your own financing, you absolutely must be prepared to be aggressive and stand firm. When you tell somebody, when you give them a chance and you give them two chances, you really shouldn't give them the second chance. You're gonna get burned. Check out your vehicles. Possibly require them to show you proof of maintenance, oil changes. Get them to start the vehicle. Listen to it. Look at the brake pads. And you'll get an idea if your asset is being taken care of or if they're gonna do to you what this customer did. And they had the nerve to bad mouth the vehicle and say it's not even worth whatever X amount of dollars that they paid for it. Of course it's not because you freaking destroyed it. Sometimes doing business, you can't just be out there and be Robin Hood or whoever does good for good people because they're gonna take advantage of you. And that's just the truth. It does not feel good to have to repossess anything to bring on possible hardships for people. But you have to consider the hardship that they're bringing to you, especially when a person can't even answer the phone or return your calls or return certified letters. You have to be prepared for this when you're gonna do your own financing. So anyway, I hope somebody out there learned something. If you have experience with this, either as a customer or the lender, do leave a comment. My name is Ryan for Silly Reviews. Like, subscribe, share, comment, tell your friend, tell your neighbor. Tell that old high school girl you used to date. Call her up out of the blue. Creep her out. Tell her what you learned tonight or today. Ryan for Silly Reviews. Thanks for watching.